we're seeing other countries around the world begin to say, uh, I believe, I believe Germany, I believe Denmark, I believe Ireland, begin to say, you know what? Terrible disease, awful virus. We're going back to life. We're we're going back to normal life uh, because we feel that we've done what we can do. We will um, hopefully continue to treat. Uh, and uh, you know, I think um, because of uh, laws in Europe, things like planes are still um, you know still have people with masks on them and such. Um, but for the most part, life is going back to normal, even in countries uh, that continue to have COVID. And you know, this is a place. Um, you know, you and I, I think slightly disagree at this point. Back, you know, when we when we published the Substack piece that we did at the end of July, um, laying out what we understand to be, um, our, you know, what we understand to be science's current understanding with regard to um, things like um, um, off-label use of you know repurposed drugs for treatment and prophylaxis of of COVID and the vaccines and how um, how universally um, effective a response that can be, um, we said, and I think even the title of the piece was, uh, you know, we ha- we have to we have to get rid of this virus. We have to eradicate we have to drive it. it extinct, yeah. We have to drive it extinct. And um, I'm no longer convinced this is possible. Um, I am I am convinced and. Um, I, I think I will remain convinced that it was possible, that it was possible and it was possible for a very long time and that we didn't do it. And it's not because uh, some part of the population refused to comply. It's because um, our policies were bad. Um, but uh, given that it looks like it is an ever more impossible target to actually eradicate this thing and that we do live uh, with um, you know, far worse pathogens, things like things like rabies, it's like yellow fever, and it's not that those that that I'm not saying I like those things, right? Or that I think that we should encourage them, but that we live with them, uh, with plans in place to prophylax if we can, and to treat and to vaccinate if it's possible. And um, you know, the countries that are saying enough is enough uh, are well. Let's you know, let's see how how it works for them. But uh, so far, so good. Yeah, I, I think in some sense the question about whether it is possible to drive it extinct has become politicized, and like it's not even possible to know the answer because the data stream is so dirty. Right, and yeah. you know, I, I'm not saying I'm convinced it's possible. I, I am convinced yeah, oh, I it was possible. Yeah. I have seen nothing that tells me it isn't possible. In general, the arguments that people marshal that suggest it isn't possible are not good arguments. And I think the po- the real important point is it actually doesn't matter because. If it is not possible, then the obvious objective is to control it as well as, for example, we control rabies, right? Mm -hmm. Rabies is still with us. We have no mechanism for getting rid of it. However, how many people die of rabies every year, you know, within the U.S., for example? And, and, you know, of course, there's a massive difference uh, in that, uh, you know, rabies has a case fatality rate close to one. It, it it's, is one. I, 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 I think there, there may have been one there's, case. There's, there's a like single, one case there's of someone a single surviving case rabies. Of somebody survived. Well, it, it, surviving so, rabies without getting treatment very quickly. Surviving rabies with onset of symptoms. You can right. treat rabies having right. been uh, infected. Yeah, so it's not going to be the CFR, but yes. Yeah. Uh, at the point that you show symptoms, um, it's basically a death sentence unless uh, unless you've gotten treatment. Um, so it's you know it's a totally different disease, and yet we have figured out how to live with it and have decreased mortality right. to close to zero. Now we're going to take a lot of crap for analogizing the two because obviously they're very different diseases transmitted in a very different way. But nonetheless, yep. the point is complete control of the disease has to be the objective if extinction is out of range. And I don't think anyone actually knows that extinction is out of range. And you know, it's a discussion that we should be having, unfortunately, because this is a politicized question, depending upon whether uh, various parties are interested in pretending that they have a plan to drive it extinct or thwarting those who would point out that their plan is no good, you'll hear both answers. 